Good morning and welcome to Off the Boulevard. I'm Keely McCormick. And I'm Erica Schumann and happy homecoming week, Jayhawks. Yeah, it's a big week here at KU and in honor of homecoming week, we have some fun throwback facts. On November 23rd, 1912, KU played their first homecoming game against our rivals, the Missouri Tigers. The Jayhawks defeated the Tigers 12-3 and it became a tradition to play the Tigers every other homecoming game. In 1925, the first homecoming queen was crowned, and from 1933 to 1969, crowning a queen was a yearly tradition. However, the tradition now is toward two students who show outstanding leadership and involvement here at KU, the XL Award. And in 1965, KU introduced the first homecoming theme, which was Song of Victory. And this year, the theme is Superhero, which explains why we have seen several pictures of Big J flying around as Superman. The homecoming parade is always a great event for students and alumni to come together as a Jayhawk family. And the parade this year is tonight at 5 o'clock on Mass Street. So hopefully everyone can attend. And hopefully everybody will be out tomorrow at Memorial Stadium for the big game. Speaking of big games, how about the Cubs? Yeah, the Cubs have not reached the World Series since 1945, but they are only one win away from reaching it. It's the best challenge in all of baseball. It's the holy grail of championships, right? You win a World Series in Chicago, I mean, that's the top right now. I just think as a competitor, you want to be on the biggest stage unless you're scared. Maybe if you're scared, you don't want to be, but don't have any dudes in here who are scared. And that's what David Ross from the Cubby said about the upcoming games. Stay tuned, Keely will be back with your news update. <laughs> In late August, the city of Lawrence and many students were anxious to move in the Here Kansas apartments. Since opening, the complex has had several issues, one being that they have been unable to rent more than 10% of its units. But, what is a mo but what's more of a pressing issue for residents is the lack of parking for them and their guests. The city has worked thoroughly with the Here and approved a parking proposal on Tuesday that will bring the complex up to code. City zoning code has special requirements for parking. Under the approved proposal, HERE will partner with KU Endowment to build an additional parking lot near 11th and Mississippi. KU Endowment will, will lease the lot to HERE, which will add 68 new parking spaces. However, the lot will be closed for HERE residents on days of KU football home games. For many students, the spring and summer semesters just aren't enough. The College of Liberal Arts and Sciences here at the University of Kansas will officially offer wi winter session courses to students. The session will run from December 26th to January 20th and will include options of either humanities and or social sciences. Boko Haram is a terrorist group trying to establish territory in the Northeast. They force women and young girls to be cooks, fighters, and sex slaves. Back in April 2014, they kidnapped over 200 schoolgirls from the Nigerian town of Chibok. It wasn't until earlier this month, 21 of the girls were returned to their families. Many of the teenagers feel that they are being viewed as just a wife of Boko Haram and could be dangerous. The community in total hasn't accepted the girls because they, have, because they are nervous they are still under the influences of Boko Haram. This young woman who gave her name only as Mariam says she was 16 when she was kidnapped from the town of Michika two years ago and forcibly married to a Boko Haram fighter. In her escape, she says she walked three days through the Sambisa forest before being picked up by Nigerian troops. I know that if they caught me along the way, they would hurt me. Many religious leaders in the community help the women and girls form support groups. However, Kimare Stugood, a senior peacebuilding advisor at International Alert in Nigeria, said, So far, the girls themselves have been too distraught to tell their stories on the radio. The things they survived are still very real and raw. Where you go to college makes a statement about you. This place will become a part of you, your identity for life.
the University of Kansas. A great place to be you. And I'm Nick Brady. And this is our Brady Fashion segment. And today we're going to talk a little bit about Halloween. Since All about Halloween. Yeah, it's coming up and I still have no idea what I'm going to be. I'm, I'm just kind of like, what I have three options. Yeah. And basically, I'm thinking of being Dwight from The Office. Dwight from The Office, okay. Or Guy Ferrari, Ferrari yeah. the cook. Our director was just saying to us how much he loved him. <laughs> <And> but <laughs> I don't know, there's some, it's, it can either go guys, really wrong or really right. It can be really think, funny. So how, where would you find a shirt like that? Or what are you going to do? <laughs> I mean, the thing with shopping and costumes, um, thrift stores, I think, mm -hmm. are the best thing. Yeah, you a lot know, of key items there. Yeah, like sell. Salvation Army or the mm -hmm. Antique Mall. Last year I was Superman and I just bought a Superman costume. But certain costumes you could buy, like like Bigfoot or something, mm -hmm. like you could buy a costume just that's like a just, yeah, it's yeah. not really creative, so yeah. it, it just depends, you know, what costume Yeah, is. how intense. Well, it's funny because yesterday I was saying how to my boyfriend that maybe we should be, what is it, Bugs and Lola? Mm -hmm. that's, and that'd be a good he was one. like, what are we going to dress up as huge bunnies? I was like, no. Yeah. I was like, we're not going to get funny costumes. So needless to say, that's, that's yeah. not an option anymore. So when it comes to advice mm -hmm. for guys, I would say to be creative mm -hmm. and not just to buy one, you know, simple costume, but also something kind of that... Kind like do it yourself. Yeah, do it yourself, but that can also kind of go wrong too, because then you <laughs> might look lazy and it yeah. might just not... You like know, a t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, or a t-shirt or something. Well, so what's the line of, you know, because I think some people want to be funny, right? Some people want to be scary. Is there a certain line, like, too, like, if you're, it's a little too funny, it's kind of weird, or? <laughs> I think it's all about balance, mm -hmm. really. So, like, what do we have here? The, oh, the classic Justin Timberlake. Yeah. You know, you could go with the 90s throwback. Mm -hmm. You know, you could just get funny clothes and be mm -hmm. like, oh, I'm this person, and people yeah. might get it, or they people might not get might it. get it yeah. at all. Um, and you know, like I said, you could either do it really wrong or you could do it really right. Mm -hmm. um, would you about, consider this wrong? Or I would right? say that's wrong. Like I was thinking yeah. about it, and I saw that picture earlier today, and I was like, I don't think yeah, I'm gonna do like, that this anymore. Yeah, probably isn't. Um, but that's not really do it yourself. That's you know, just buying mm -hmm. the thing. So mm -hmm. I don't know. It's all about balance um, and not being like a, a Bigfoot type <laughs> yeah, of character oh or something God. like that. Um, and I think it's also about like that's creative, but. I don't, I don't think that's doable, so. Right, yeah, I, I don't really understand how that would work, but do you know, so what's popular for, you know, this Halloween? Um, Suicide Squad was a good movie, mm -hmm. and it was, I think a lot of people oh. definitely see those characters. Yeah, um, superheroes Like certain movies that were released, um, The Revenant would be a good mm -hmm. one, I think, for guys. Um, yeah. You would just really kind of look like a caveman almost, yeah. but it, it, it would be funny, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, so what is, what is this? What are you feeling about? So there seems to be costumes every year that that right, are never very go repetitive, out of style. that never go out of style, but also like, all right, very you're a, you're a mouse again. Mm -hmm. You know, you put a couple lines on your yeah. face. Um, so you think is that a definite do? I think that's a don't. I think a that's don't. a don't. Okay. Um, Everybody listening, do not be a mouse. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you are, make it a little bit more fun. Yeah, than just or a little creative. Little, you know. Yeah. But hopefully yeah. that didn't. Hopefully we didn't make anybody upset. Here. Yeah. Maybe someone's being a mouse. We should have done like a poll beforehand. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, I still really don't know what I. I don't know. It's coming up quick. It is. It's next weekend. Yeah. So. Well, there's plenty of ideas. Oh, um, this is what's popular. I mean, I don't. I don't think that's a good move being Hillary Clinton, but because then you get people like. T telling you your opinion and everything. Yeah. Um, it's Halloween and here we are. It's going to be like Donald Trump yeah, and, and Hillary. You're definitely going to see it happen. Mm -hmm. um, it's up to you if you want to do that, but you're mm -hmm. setting yourself up for uh, maybe some, some debates yeah, yeah. or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, well, do you have anything else to offer, or, you know, to add to this be, Halloween conversation? Be safe, mm -hmm. have fun, um, be creative. Mm -hmm. and, and next week we'll actually do a segment where we will wear we will our, be in our costumes. costumes. Yes. So you'll be able to see what we did pick. Yes. Mm -hmm. so Whether that, that be a Dwight or a Guy Ferrari yeah, or, or, a, mouse. or a mouse. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I will make sure not to. <laughs> well, that'll be all, all that, right. Yeah, that'll be all we have left, and we'll be right back. <laughs>
Make sure you all head out to the homecoming parade tonight. And to the game tomorrow, kickoff is at 11. Well, looks like that's all the news we have for you today, KU. I'm Keely McCormick. And I'm Erica Schumann. Make good decisions this weekend.